Helix. Tim, whenever we talk about giving students the reins to our communication channels, there can be some anxiety around that. We approve student bloggers, not student blog posts. Very rare that I have to send something back to them for an edit because this is their life. They know what's going on as a student much better than I do. And so I do trust their thoughts on that. Let's stay on this concept of trust because I think it's really fascinating. So, so while you identify these students as your brand ambassadors, you're not doing much specific brand training with them. You're not giving them scripts. You're not giving them talking points. Talk us through your belief that your students are your brand and, and, and the value of, of letting them speak authentically. Absolutely. The brand is not what you as the company say it is. It's what people think you are. Scott Stratton, uh, also known for Unmarketing, spoke at a conference and he used the line, he said, what's your brand? Ask one of your students, they'll tell you what your brand is. So we have 8,000 different brands out there. Um, obviously, we all hope they at least know what we are to some degree. But for me, a brand training would seem like a waste. I don't want them to seem inauthentic. I want them to be who they are. I picked them because they're interesting. 